I am continuing my reading. What I'm doing in this series is to read through the entire standard works of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. This consists of the Bible, the Book of Mormon, the Doctrine and Covenants, and the Pearl of Great Price. I am reading in a chronological order of events, not according to publication or volume, so I will be skipping around a bit as I move along. So, in the last video, we read about the invasion of the northern kingdom of Israel by Assyria. A three-year siege of the capital city of Samaria before it fell, and then the Israelites being deported to a foreign country, the, in the cities of the Medes and the northeast of the Assyrian Empire. So, now we, that, that was in chapter 17 primarily, or a few verses we read in 18. And we're going to continue, we're going to read the rest of chapter 17 now. This will continue the story of this conquest of the northern kingdom. This will be verses 24 through 41. And the king of Assyria brought men from Babylon, and from Kutha, and from Ava, and from Hamath, and from Sepharvim, and placed them in the cities of Samaria instead of the children of Israel. And they possessed Samaria, and dwelt in the cities thereof. And so it was at the beginning of their dwelling there that they feared not the Lord. Therefore the Lord sent lions among them, which slew some of them. Wherefore they spake to the king of Assyria, saying, The nations which thou hast removed and placed in the cities of Samaria know not the manner of the God of the land. Therefore he hath sent lions among them, and behold, they slay them, because they know not the manner of the God of the land. Then the king of Assyria commanded, saying, Carry thither one of the priests whom ye brought from thence, and let them go and dwell there, and let him teach them the manner of the God of the land. Then one of the priests, whom they had carried away from Samaria, came and dwelt in Bethel, and taught them how they should fear the Lord. Howbeit every nation made gods of their own, and put them in the houses of the high places which the Samaritans had made, every nation in their, own, in their cities wherein they dwelt. And the men of Babylon made Sukkoth Benoth, and the men of Kuth made Nergal, and the men of Hamath made Ashima, and the Avites made Nib Nibhaz and Tartak, and the Sephirvites burnt their children in the in fire to Adramalek and Anamalek, the gods of Sephirvaim. So they feared the Lord and made unto themselves of the lowest of them priests of the high places, which sacrificed for them in the houses of the high places. They feared the Lord and served their own gods after the manner of the nations whom they had carried away from thence. Unto this day they do after the former manners. They fear not the Lord, neither do they after their statutes, or after their ordinances, or after the law and commandment which the Lord commanded the children of Jacob, whom he named Israel, with whom the Lord had made a covenant and charged them, saying, Ye shall not fear other gods nor bow yourselves to them, nor serve them, nor sacrifice to them. But the Lord, who brought you up out of the land of Egypt with great power and a stretched out arm, him shall ye fear, and him shall ye worship, and to him shall ye do a sacrifice. And the statutes of the, and the ordinances and the law and the commandment which he wrote for you, ye shall observe to do forevermore. And ye shall not fear other gods, and the covenant that I have made with you ye shall not forget, neither shall ye fear other gods. But the Lord your God ye shall fear, and he shall deliver you out of the hand of all your enemies. Howbeit they did not hearken, but they did after their former manner. So these nations feared the Lord, and served their graven images, both their children and their children's children, as did their fathers, so do they unto this day. This, I, I, it's kind of funny, but it makes sense. It's, it's a logical thing to happen. So yes, Assyria takes the Israelites and moves them to the northeast into the land of the Medes. They then bring in people from Babylon, from Ava, from all these other places, and settle them in Samaria. But this is the, the, this is the land of the Lord. This is the promised land. And since they're not following the law of Moses, they are under the same curse as the Israelites were. And lions come out and start killing people. And I just love it. We don't know how to appease the God of this land. And so they bring a priest back. They bring an Israelite priest back who shows them how to do sacrifices. And they fear the Lord. They do worship the Lord. But again, it is a mixed religion. They still bring in all their gods, all their own gods from the land they came from, and they place them in all the high places, but they still fear the Lord. 
Israel was kicked out for having a mixed religion, but these guys, these aren't Israelites. And so having this mixed religion, God is not destroying them because they are fearing the Lord. It, they're blending the religions, but they don't know any better. They aren't the Israelites. They don't have the gospel. They never had the gospel, or, you know, not in a long time anyways, not probably since the time of Abraham. So they have the same thing that Israel had, but because they are not Israel, because they don't have that foundation in the gospel, they are allowed to stay in the land because they do fear the Lord, even though they mix that with other worship. But again, we can see how this worked in the ancient world, that when they moved into the land, they, to them, God was just the God of this valley or this, this, this particular area. And they had to appease him because he, this was his land. But they could still worship their gods. They just had to also worship the God of this land that they were living in. And that's how, this was, that, that's how the ancient religions were. So... Anyways, I do like it. It's, a, it's a fairly simple. That's why I didn't really stop to talk about it during the reading, because that's all it really is. They, they brought in the foreigners. And, but I will, I will point out one of the things, that not all of the Israelites are, were deported. There were some that stayed, and they will intermingle with these foreigners. They will intermarry with them, and they become the Samaritan race, which is an offshoot or a related. They, they are related to the Israelites, but they are not pure Israelites. And that will become important later on, especially in the New Testament times. So I will see you in the next one. We will be continuing in Second Kings.